The ongoing Russian-Ukrainian war in the heart of Europe has become a real boon for unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs for short. Small drones have literally changed the way we think about war. There are hundreds of videos posted on the internet showing that a small, made-of-plastic airplane worth up to $1,000 destroys pickup trucks, armored personnel carriers, locators, anti-aircraft missile installations, and even tanks. For example, the first to hit an Abrams tank in this war was the Russian drone Ghoul. That is, a machine worth $5 million was destroyed by a device worth $5 to $600. Soldiers joke that now the density of UAVs over the front line is such that it's time to introduce traffic regulations, otherwise there will be traffic accidents. Seeing such success, many companies have rushed to develop military drones. In this video, we'll talk about the British development of an attack drone, Jackal UCAV, which is claimed… well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Watch this video to the end. It's going to be interesting. Before we talk about the British drone with the characteristic name Jackal, let us briefly outline the features and capabilities that attack UAVs already have that are taking part in the Russian-Ukrainian war. They can be divided into two classes, kamikaze drones and drones that attack by dropping various munitions on the enemy. The brightest representative of the first class is undoubtedly the Russian Lancet, which has evolved very quickly over these two years. The bird began to fly under the control of the operator, having a range of 20 to 30 kilometers or 12 to 18 miles. Now the Lancet 3 is already fighting, having a range of up to 80 kilometers or 50 miles, machine vision, and artificial intelligence that allows it to independently aim and attack the target. The Lancet weighs about 12 kilograms, with the warhead weighing 3 kilograms. The flight altitude is 50 to 250 meters or 160 to 800 feet speed 80 to 110 kilometers an hour or 50 to 70 miles per hour in cruising mode up to 300 kilometers an hour or 190 miles per hour in dive mode it's already hit over a thousand targets it's launched from a special portable ramp also of course everyone's heard the word shaheds heavy weighing up to 200 kilograms iranian drones that fly completely autonomously the target is given in the form of its gps coordinates the control system can be programmed to make the drone fly on a complex trajectory to make it difficult to destroy. The warhead weighs 40 kilograms, has a range of 1,700 kilometers or 1,000 miles, a flight altitude of up to 7,000 meters or 23,000 feet, and a speed of up to 150 kilometers an hour or 95 miles per hour in cruising mode. The device can stay in the air for 24 hours. The Russians are using such drones to nightmare Ukrainian cities and other infrastructure. In addition to such relatively heavy drones, FPV drones have become massively used. Structurally, they're quadrocopters, i.e. helicopters with four propellers. Their weight is usually up to 2 kilograms and they lift 200 to 300 grams of explosives. They have an average range of 5 to 10 kilometers or 3 to 6 miles and speeds up to 100 kilometers an hour or 60 miles per hour. Nothing is required to launch them. For control, remote control in the form of a game joystick and FPV goggles or helmet where the signal from the drone's video camera is transmitted. The effectiveness of drones is due to two factors. The first is their cheapness, which allows them to be mass-produced. At least every fighter can have an FPV drone. The second factor is the difficulty of destruction due to their small size and low cost. The same Shahed costs up to $20,000 and a missile to destroy it costs hundreds of thousands or even a million dollars. Mostly the Ukrainians try to shoot down the same Shaheds with the help of a German anti-aircraft installation Gepard, which have two twin 20mm cannons, or even with homemade installations in the form of twin or quadruple machine guns mounted on the back of a pickup truck. The main method of fighting FPV drones is radio-electric means that jam the communication channel with the device. Against this background, what do the British offer? Working with Turkish partners Fly B Velos Technology and Maxwell Innovations, the British company Flyby Technology is developing the Jackal UCAV drone designed for countries that cannot afford to arm attack helicopters or light fighters. The drone is helicopter style, has eight propellers, a wingspan of about 8 meters or 26 feet, and a range of up to 130 kilometers or 80 miles. 
Jackal, according to a spokesman for the development company, has demonstrated the ability to travel at a cruising speed of 108 kilometers per hour. The drone can climb to an altitude of up to 4,000 meters. Jackal is a modular UAV. Its design allows it to be used in various variants, including as an airborne, unmanned carrier of missiles. During the test, the British drone hit targets with Thales LMM Martlet missiles. In this case, the developer of the weapon does not disclose its technical capabilities. Judging by the footage from the test, Jackal will be able to carry at least two missiles, posing a significant threat to helicopters and armored vehicles. The LMM Martlet missile, which can operate in air-to-ground, ground-to-ground, and ground-to-air models, is made of a cylindrical body with a pointed head. Nearing the fairing are rudders without the possibility of folding, and in the tail place folding stabilizers. The head compartment is located in the control equipment, behind it is placed the warhead, and the tail volume is given to the engine. The length of the product is 1.3 meters or 4.2 feet, the external diameter is 76 millimeters or 3 inches. The mass is 13 kilograms. The missile is equipped with a combined guidance system including tail laser receivers and an optical GSN under the head cowling. There are several modes of operation. The missile can fly along a laser beam like the Starstreak product or be guided to a laser illuminated target. The infrared mode of the homing head is activated at the end of the trajectory. The Martlet carries a 3 kilogram shaped fragmentation warhead. It's detonated by a laser non-contact fuse, the windows of which are located behind the fairing. The parameters of the shape, charge, jet, and fragmentation field are not specified. It was reported only that the LMM is effective against air targets and ground armored objects. The missile uses a dual-mode solid rocket motor. It accelerates the missile to Mach 1.5 and provides a guided flight of 8 kilometers or 5 miles. The Martlet began development in 2008 but was not put into service until 2021. It's manufactured by French military industrial group Thales at a facility in Belfast. The missile is operated by the UK, France, Ukraine, and other countries. With its vertical takeoff and landing capability, the Jackal does not require vulnerable runways or roads and can perform air-to-air -air battlefield interdiction, close air support, anti-helicopter, and armor-piercing missions. The test involved not only launching two advanced missiles, but also building two Jackal drones in six weeks to demonstrate its modular design to avoid obsolescence over several years of operation. Importantly, Jackal is also a plug-and-play system, where new equipment and technology can be incorporated between missions and new features and modules can be continuously developed. The company says this new approach ensures that future strike drones will not become obsolete before they enter service. Given the impressively short time frame in which the team was able to conduct initial trials, it was clear that Flyby could have a bright future in the industry, and Thales' partnership and support has been extremely helpful in crossing the entry thresholds for innovative startups, said Air Commodore and Head of Operational Capabilities for the Royal Air Force, Jez Holmes. I look forward to seeing developments in this area. Why has the British military been so enthusiastic about the Jackal drone? and many experts say that it almost opens a new era in unmanned aviation. Its most important feature is its versatility. The drone can hit protected and armored moving and stationary targets. It's no secret that the overwhelming number of drones in the Russian-Ukrainian war do not destroy armored vehicles but damage them. The same ghoul only immobilized the Abrams and it was already finished with anti-tank systems, but this is possible only on the battlefield. If the tank is in the rear, it'll be restored. The tank can be destroyed by the Russian Lancet and the American Switchblade 600, which carries an anti-tank warhead of the Javelin type. But they can't fly at 130 kilometers while Jackal can. Besides having two missiles, it can destroy two targets in return. The above-mentioned drones are kamikaze. They hit one target while killing themselves. They require springboards to launch, but Jackal takes off on its own. But most importantly, Jackal can hit air targets, which no drone has ever done before. For Ukraine, as well as for other countries that are tight on funds, such a drone can be a real lifesaver. There's video on the internet as the Ukrainian military tried to destroy a Russian Ka-52 alligator attack helicopter, Hokum B by NATO codification, on the fly with the help of an FPV drone. The attempt unfortunately failed. This is not surprising. After all, the drone's speed is up to 100 kilometers an hour, while the alligator's is 350. 
In miles, it's respectively 60 and 220, but even if the drone flew head-on, it would hardly be able to hit a helicopter. A light machine weighing one or two kilograms would simply be swept aside by the powerful airflow from the propeller of the 10-ton machine. But if the helicopter was attacked by a missile fired from Jackal, the outcome would be quite different. Jackal will be much more effective against Shaheds. The fact is that the anti-aircraft system has a range of only 4 kilometers or 2.5 miles. Their mobility is much less than that of its opponent. In fact, in order to close some objects, it's necessary to put cheetahs around them at a maximum distance of 4 kilometers from each other. At the same time, the same object can be covered by one or two jackals that would continuously barrage over it. The report of the manufacturing company says nothing about the control of this drone. Of course, the optimal option would be if artificial intelligence was involved. Then jackal would be completely invulnerable to electronic warfare. But given that it'll fly at altitudes much higher than the field REB, we can say that these weapons against it will not be effective. In conclusion, we'd like to add that it would be just fine if Jackal was sent to Ukraine for testing. Especially the UK, judging by recent events, is becoming a major ally of the Ukrainians. There, the machine would pass the real exam and acquire a good reputation for sales. And that's all for today. What do you think about sending a Jackal attack drone for testing in Ukraine? Write about it in your comments below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Please also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you soon.